everyone, Joel Lance here, my good friend Mr. George Lobianco. And we are about to head out to a place called Chet and Matt's to do their pizza challenge. This is a large team pizza challenge. Um, I believe it's about 10, 11 pounds, something along those lines. You do have 30 minutes to complete it. Uh, if you complete the pizza, you do get a $100 cash prize, which is pretty cool. You also get a gift card for another free pizza, plus your original pizza for free. So definitely pretty sweet. And I think some free t-shirts as well. So Chet and Matt's is in Sandusky, Ohio. So it's kind of like a little bit of a tourist area right by the, uh, by the river there, by the lake. Um, so yeah, pretty cool, but uh, I've never been to that area. I'm really excited to check it on out. So we're gonna catch a drive. It's not too bad, we're only about an hour, hour and a half away. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. So a pizza challenge. Um, I like pizza, we'll get you some toppings and whatever else information as they come. And uh, let's go eat some food. Hey everyone, so here we are with the pizza. It looks really good. We went with ham and green peppers. Mr. George, ready to eat some pizza? I am, you ready? For 30 minutes, let's give this a go. Ready? So we start, we'll say count of five, four, Three, two, one. Cheers, let's go. Thank you. Mm. Can I bother you for like a side like marinara sauce or a pizza sauce? Thank you. Very delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Chet and Matt's. Yes, Chet and Matt's in Sandusky, Ohio. So I've never been to Sandusky, I've never heard of it before, but this challenge brought us out here. So Sandusky is actually famous for Cedar Point, Cedar Point, which is a uh, like kind of really well-known American amusement park, especially uh, for roller coasters. They have lots of little roller coasters out there, and it's a very beautiful location. It is right on the lake. Um, it is definitely gorgeous, and like I said, definitely kind of a tourist-driven area. Um, but when we were there, it was definitely a happening spot. It was a beautiful day, beautiful evening, and here we are, are to do the pizza challenge. Um, so this is called the Kong or King Kong Pizza Challenge at uh, Chet and Matt's. Um, you have 30 minutes to complete the pizza. You get a free pizza. You get a gift card for another free pizza, and you do get $100 if you actually complete the challenge. Um, so there had been a like maybe I don't know. I think they said maybe like maybe 13 teams or something um, that had completed this. However, the challenge had been around for over uh, like 20 some years, and the gentleman actually figured that there had been uh, I think it was about 3,000 attempts or something like that, which is like absolutely crazy. I mean, that's just like that's insane. Just think about how many teams of two actually tried. Thank you. Got some extra sauce. Very delicious pizza. Now, when it actually comes to um, the taste of this pizza, I will say it was absolutely exceptional. I enjoy and can appreciate a good pizza. If it's not a good pizza, I don't have the same appreciation. But this was such a delicious pizza. The crust was just the right thickness. Um, the sauce that they had here was absolutely fantastic. They made their own sauce, and I gotta say, it was just like so delicious. I'm a big, big, big sauce person. So uh, not like, and this is my style of pizza. I prefer kind of a bit of a thinner crust. Um, so everything uh, this pizza was to my uh, my absolute liking. Maybe a when it comes to the topping on the pizza, you can uh, either do like a half and half um, or, you know, just like all on one. Uh, we went with green peppers and ham. You'd have to do two toppings. Um, but yeah, they did offer to split it ultimately. Uh, but yeah, so we just kind of went with the same thing, which green pepper and ham are my preferred pizza toppings when I'm doing challenges. One, it's not like overly heavy or overly greasy, and uh, I really just generally like green peppers, and I like ham, and it adds a nice bit of salt, um, you know, nice flavor, but you know, still, like I said, it's not something like uh, like a pepperoni or sometimes a ground beef, which can leach a lot of like extra oil into your challenge. Um, so yeah, so that's definitely my preference, so, but that is partial strategy, so again, not only my flavor strategy, and my flavor preference, but again, strategy in regards of like not having a soaking pizza, super, super wet and grease, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, actually, sorry, it might have been three toppings, might have onions on there too. Um, now, uh, again, I was just dipping the the pizza right in the sauce and it wasn't that um, the pizza was dry it had I think just the right amount of everything with it but just that sauce was dang so good usually I dip my crust in sauce but I was dipping everything in that sauce um, but I will say that sauce interesting enough was so hot that I definitely 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 burnt the roof of my mouth eating the sauce 
I'm not exactly sure how far in we are, but somewhere less than maybe like maybe like four minutes, something like that. Very, very delicious pizza, really enjoying it. The dough is great, the sauce is fantastic. I got a little extra here. No complaints. George, what do you think? Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, when it comes to the overall weight of the challenge, I'd say it was like, you know, 10 pounds, something like that. Um, so definitely still a big, big, big challenge. You know, you have to get two individuals who are able to eat at least five pounds, um, not to mention all the liquids and such. Plus, it is a pretty limited time limit. So it definitely puts us at like a definite intermediate level. And like I said, it's not just you can have one person that can eat five pounds. You need two people that at least can eat five pounds. Um, and you cannot solo the pizza. They would not let us uh, solo it, um, which is totally cool. Me and George wanted some pizza, and uh, we heard this was a great place, and really it was. I got to say, the uh, the staff were absolutely exceptional. Um, we met the owner, uh, one of the owners, uh, I believe it was Matt, and uh, you know, out, of, out of Chet and Matt, it was one of them. And uh, they were just so welcoming. They were so friendly. I really, again, can't uh, say enough to the hospitality. Um, and just, again, the overall food was absolutely very, very delicious. Uh, like I said, so if you are ever, um, you know, kind of in that area, uh, Sandusky, which is about an hour away, an hour east of Toledo, and an hour west of Cleveland, so literally right in between the two. Um, this was such a cool spot. And like I said, so you have like the amusement park out there, they had uh, some kind of like water parks, um, and then obviously some restaurants, which they even had a golden corral. Yes, they even had a golden corral there. Um, and again, this obvious pizza challenge, which um, I will say, like I said, Chet and Matt's have been a, 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 a staple restaurant in the community, at least that's what they told us, um, for however many years, um, you know, very supportive of the community, which really helped keep them open, um, you know, they had been in business again for, I don't know, it was like 30, 40, it was just a very, 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 very long time, and uh, everybody in the community that we talked to spoke very highly about the place, and I can definitely see why, like I said, just a great kind of homegrown family American restaurant and uh, so they're serving up some really really good pizza and some really really good sauce I'm sure their other items are great as well and they even actually have a uh, chicken wing and pizza buffet normally so you could come uh, and get the buffet and I think the buffet was like 12 bucks so it was very very affordable obviously we did not do the buffet today as we were doing this challenge um, but ultimately that's pretty much it I'll let you get uh, to the rest of the video um, and that's about it. You know, uh, if you like the video so far, comment down below. Maybe give it a like. Uh, hit subscribe. I really do appreciate when you guys uh, show that support. It helps the channel out. helps the uh, YouTube algorithm. Let them, uh, it lets them know that you like the video. And uh, ultimately, more people will get to see it. So again, thank you so much for watching. And with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. There you go. So got this stuff in the gym. I can't speak highly enough to the pizza. Very, very delicious.
Still very delicious. Still doing not too bad. That's what we have left basically about right there. Good like you thought it would be? It's very, very good. <laughs> George is down the last piece there. Very, very delicious pizza. Give the time there, my friend. I will. Well, so this is done. I was just curious, what time is it now? Just under 14 minutes. Okay, so just under 14 minutes in. There it is. 14.45. 14.45? 13.45. 13.45? Good job. Thank you. All right, so official time, 13.45, and then whatever else, when George clears his mouth. So like I said, very delicious pizza. Chet and Matt knows how to make a good pie. Really enjoyed this. Pardon me? Pardon me? Yeah, absolutely. Chet and Matt's in Sandusky, Ohio. Really enjoyed it. Um, they have a big Cedar Point here. They have so many other attractions. And definitely when you're in the area, stop going by Chet and Matt. So like I said, very much enjoyed it. George, it works. That was very good. 
very good pizza. They make their own sauce here as well, which is absolutely delicious. I went through like basically two containers of it. But yeah, so now we get the meal for free. We get a uh, t-shirt and some kind of a prize. So that's pretty cool. So until next time, of course, say happy out the hungry, happy eating. That's about it. Just have a lovely day. Hi everyone, and we are at Mommy Park. I think that's how it's pronounced. Mommy! M-A-U-M-E-E. -E. I'm going with Mommy, and if that's not how you pronounce it, too bad. But this is a state park just northeast of Toledo. So this is a very, very, very beautiful. We have not only expansive kind of trails going all around the water here, we obviously have a one body of water. I think there's more on the other side. There is golf courses kind of that way and that way. At least there's people driving on golf carts, so I think that's as fair to assume that there is golfing. Um, over there actually looks almost like a little bit of a beach area, so we'll definitely check that out as well. Um, it is a little cooler. It's uh, probably about 65 degrees if you're in Fahrenheit. And if that's in Celsius, I don't know, I'm guessing that'd be like maybe 12, 13, 14 degrees. Some of my conversions are good, some of them aren't. But uh, yeah, so it is a little chillier, but beautiful sunny day. Just great to see the sunshine. It's been really rainy the last few days. This is very beautiful out here. Um, lots of green space, lots of nature, lots of people uh, doing, you know, there's some golf golfers over there, but biking and, and running and yeah, gorgeous. So let's continue to check out Mommy Park. Look, there's even a little swing there. So I like it. Thank you, Mommy. And here we just stumbled upon a snake. See him right there? That is a snake. Just like probably a gardener snake or whatever. I don't think Ohio is known for having, you know, poisonous snakes, but that is a snake and he was just moving. So there you go. Checking out some wildlife here in Ohio. And here we got the Bay State Park. Public beach. So here we go. We got the beach. It's nice. It's, uh, you know, definitely an Ohio beach, but I like it. No complaints. No complaints. Nobody in the water today. It is definitely a little cooler. Again, most people having, you know, at least a sweater on, if not shorts and, or sorry, if not pants and a sweater. But uh, definitely like a nice, uh, a nice area. I think this could be really, really enjoyable in the summer. Definitely a lot of parking. So I imagine that it gets very, very popular. But yeah. Mommy Bay State Park. Here we got more of the beach. Got some people running with their dogs down there, chasing some things and having some fun. We have the marina, the marina over here. We're a little bit elevated. We're kind of on a bit of a hill right now. Here they have the uh, the amphitheater. That's the uh, body water. Originally we were over there on the other side. And yeah, just like a cool, actually like a really cool area. The, the longer I spend here, the more it grows on me of just like how good or how you know beneficial this could be to have in the summer once you really get the heat and you know, a really cool place just to hang out. What's also nice is it's free. Um, so you just come on by. There you go, so if you're ever in Toledo area or live in Toledo, especially here again in the warm weather, I would say this is a good place to come. It would be Joel approved. Mommy or mommy. Park. <laughs> that thing is huge. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you also did the drum going on. driving our way to Sandusky on the Ohio Coastal Route and I tell you there is just lakes and water everywhere like this whole route the whole drive that's water there you can't really see it it's just been like water and lakes and it's pretty dang cool I will say here we got some uh, Lake Erie Islands ferry coming up so it's I think one of like Kelly's Island and such 
uh, recently there was a lot of rain, so there was some flooding. So a couple of roads in the past week here have actually been flooded over. And we saw one little road which is still flooded over, but not a major road, just a little side road. Another example along this coastal route. Again, water on both sides by the Lake Erie Islands and shores they classified it as. Like I said, pretty crazy. Definitely, uh, I didn't realize, well, I mean, I guess they had a great lakes are there, but I didn't realize how much water was at least, I guess, accessible to Northern Ohio. And although I don't, we're not going today, uh, although we did have a look and we couldn't even get tickets, uh, this is Cedar Point, which is a great big amusement park here up in Sandusky area. So pretty cool. Definitely, uh, they got a lot of roller coasters. That's kind of what they're known for partially. Again, very interesting. I definitely did not know Sandusky or this area was kind of like a, um, like a touristy area, but it's definitely what it seems like. So pretty cool. Look at these, lots of rides, and we're just gonna turn around here in a moment, so let's see what happens. And here's a bit better view of all the rides. Definitely lots of them. Again, we're just turning around, but we I coincidentally end up in the park. So very interesting, very interesting. Yep. And here's just kind of more waterfront. There's like an indoor water park. Um, resort very much like a kind of again touristy area which I had no clue Sandusky it was a big sign for Cedar Point who would have known that Sandusky Ohio offered so mile, much right Pipe touristy stuff stuff <laughs> 